It is time to get this wild and crazy race started. Welcome to the one and only Grand Tour Great White North Ice Resurface Race. That's a mouthful and appropriately so because when the biggest show on Amazon Prime Video comes to the world's second biggest country, you better believe there's going to be a big race for the big name. I'm Ken Reed and I'm your host for the greatest show this country will ever see. Now, what is the Grand Tour Great White North Ice Resurface Race? Well, in just a few minutes, you're going to witness the most Canadian race that has ever been raced. We're here in Toronto, Canada, minutes away from the hallowed Canadian racing grounds and shrines to the country's favorite sports to pay tribute to another incredible season of the Grand Tour, only on Prime Video. By taking three ice resurfacers out of the rink and onto the street for a time trial that is anything but typical, the Grand Tour style. And here to help me is one of Canada's smoothest operators, Ivanka Osmak. Ivanka, you ready for this? I don't think I could possibly be ready, Ken. The Grand Tour follows Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond, and James May as they embark on adventures around the world and drive some pretty amazing vehicles. The season three finale is airing this week, streaming April 12th, and you can only find it on Prime Video. Thanks, Ivanka. Like your jacket, it's cooler than mine. The finale is coming up, but right now we're here for the Grand Tour Great White North Ice Resurface Race. There's no hockey game here, folks. What we're doing is a good old-fashioned race in the most Canadian way possible. That's right. These resurfacers have been souped up for a little competition, and trust me when I say this will not be pretty. The Grand Tour is chock full of big stunts, bold challenges, and beautiful vehicles, and today's event will be no different. I hope you're as excited as I am for the Grand Tour Great White North Ice Resurface Race. Do I have to say that every time? Every time I have to say the whole thing? Okay, okay, uh, we've got our racers getting ready to hit the track as we speak, so why don't we take this time to learn just a little bit about them. Racer number one, Paul Bissonette, or Biz Nasty, better known for his chirps and tweets than his contributions to championship runs. Look at him, what a good looking kid. But you know what? It'll be hard to bet against this guy today when he makes this run for glory. It takes attitude to tame a resurfacer running flat out. So this former pro winger is sure to make his cleaning machine get biz nasty. Ivanka. Thank you so much, Ken. Paul, we know you're used to getting the pucks in deep, or at least you tried to. This is a whole different sport here. I don't think you've done anything like this. What's your approach going forward? Well, I'm just... Uh... I'm pretty excited to be here, first of all. I don't know if you guys checked out Twitter today, but John Scott had some pretty interesting things to say about me. He said I dodged him my entire career. Now, uh, here, I, I'm pretty sure you'd mistaken John Scott for this during his. So uh, keep my name out of your mouth, John Scott. Now, back to the race. Uh, you know, it's uh, velvet and steel. So these silky hands are going to bring me around the corners nice and buttery, silky smooth. Ah, uh, let's just get back to that. You're referring to John Scott, your opponent today, the other driver, as a pylon? Correct. Gotcha. Now, you are representing Grand Tour host Jeremy Clarkson. I would not want to disappoint Jeremy Clarkson. There's a good chance you might. How do you avoid that? Absolutely not. He's on the front of my vehicle. I've, uh, I've been preparing for this one for the last few weeks, and uh, I'm pretty sure I got it uh, locked in, loaded. All right. You've had some strong words, especially for your opponent. Paul, thank you very much. Let's meet your competition. FY everyone, Paul actually showed up in his own hockey gear, looking like that. His competition, known to some only as the captain, and to others as, what the heck just hit me? John Scott has made a career out of crisscrossing teams and crisscrossing plugs. It's going to be a battle today, and Scott has never been one to shy away from dropping the gloves, so we're sure he's going to drop the hammer today. Ivanka. Ken. Here with John now, uh, your competitor, Paul, has already called you a pylon. He said some really nasty things. You guys haven't even gotten behind the ice resurfacer. What do you have to say to him already? He's a lot of bark, not a lot of bite, not worried about Paul at all. It was like that on the ice. He would talk a big game. As soon as the puck dropped, he would just be looking for quarters, wouldn't look me in the eye, always running for me. So I'm not worried about Paul. It's usually the guys who talk the most who don't do any action at all. Uh, I see. Now, you uh, are representing the one and only James May. Yeah. There's a lot of pressure riding on you, so how do you handle that? I know. He's one of my favorite guys, favorite characters. It's, uh, yeah, like you said, lots of pressure. I just got to keep my driving tight, slow into the corners, fast out of the corners, keep the foot on the pedal, and go, go, go. Weather conditions, wind. How will it help or hurt your performance? I obviously have a long torso, so wind will be a factor. I have to just take that into account, maybe streamline myself, but 
Paul looks like an idiot, so I think I'll be fine. All right. Well, you heard it here first. There's a lot of trash talking going on as they're standing here, but how will they do when they're actually driving? I think we're in for one heck of a race, if I do say so myself. Mm -hmm. John looks really good. Showed up looking like that as well today. Now, let's look at what our ice resurface racers are dealing with. Our drivers have never dared to drive here before, likely because there's never really been any reason to drive here before. The machines, they're going to start at the Western Gateway. They're going to turn hard southward and up the rise along a frightening bluff until they reach the summit. They'll brave the chicane and snake their way northward, northward along a really, really tight path along the near straightaway. And that's where they can really, really open up these resurfacers to see what they can do. But then at the other end of the track, a choice to make. Which way to go? Right or left? No easy choice. One offers a tight hairpin. The other, an even tighter bridge to navigate before heading back south, rounding Romantic Garden and past Bonfire Bay toward the finish line. It's two laps, total time trial. Now that is a grand tour. How will they handle it? These Olympia brand ice resurfacers have been shining rinks for Canadian skaters for 50 years. Born in Elmira, Ontario, they boast hardened steel construction hydrostatic drive systems and a reversible auger system with enough power to make you leave the ice when you know they clean it but how dare anyone keep them contained to the rink our three racing ice resurfacers have been prepped appropriately for this canadian contest let's meet them now ivanka ken our first resurfacer the clarkson is dressed like a hockey lover's dream. Just like Biz Nasty, it knows how to hold it down during intense moments. And I'm sure Paul Bizonette is having flashbacks as we speak. We expect untamed aggression from this machine, just like its namesake and the infamous host of the Grand Tour, Jeremy Clarkson. Next, we've got the May. Representing the true North strong and mighty, this resurfacer is here to cut down the competition. It practically bleeds plaid and manliness. And just like James May, host of the Grand Tour, it is built for no-nonsense racing. The May is ready to log the win. And last, but certainly not least, the Little Chirp. Named after Richard Hammond and the Grand Tour's most vocal host, this resurfacer is a lean, mean, relaxing machine ready to set aside its beer and take names, not naps, in this fierce competition. Ivanka, as our viewers may have noticed, unfortunately, the Little Chirp will need to sit off track. It turns out there's a rare Canadian law forbidding the racing of any more than two ice resurfacers at once, so we don't want to raise the ire of the law here. So to make this race go as smoothly as possible, the little chirp just going to have to take a little rest. So we're down to two overly dressed ice resurfacers in this resurface race. And there's one more thing you need to know about these machines, Ivanka. Tell us about the governor. This is a huge detail. Listen up. There's one thing, one thing preventing these glorious machines from really opening it up on the course, and that's the governor on the rink. The governor prevents these wonderful beasts from going above 15 kilometers per hour, but we've taken them off, Ken. They are off. No governor means that these machines will be reaching speeds rarely, if ever seen before. Look at Paul. He looks like he's all ready to go. Mm -hmm. Back to the tent, Ken. Well, he's got that helmet on because he's going to be flying around this track. John Scott's going to be flying around this track. The governors are off. So awesome stuff, Ivanka. And now that that's done, we can finally dub these resurfacers ice rods. No governor, like hot rods, but for the ice, see what I did there? Ice rods. And what a relief that is because I don't think I can say ice resurfacer anymore. Ice rods. All right, we've got our racers, we've got our ice rods, and we've got our course. I think it's time to race. But first, let's have a look at what this is all about. The Grand Tour is about to finish season three only on Prime Video, and that means you have just enough time to binge the season before the last episode hits the playlist. Let's have a quick look at what's happened this season, and then we'll race some ice rods. Oh, Jesus, I'm shaking all over. Uh, I think I might be sick. Oh, no. Oh! Ah! <laughs> 
I bet my car looks elegant going through this scenery. <laughs> I don't know what they're gonna do. Scary! I just know it's not gonna work. Oh, you look cold! <laughs> Hammond's lap's going well. Yeah, isn't it? I've raced against a few dicks in my time, but never on one. <laughs> Shit! Whoa! Oh, he's gone over the edge! Again. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, my giddy <laughs> Ow! Watson! What is the budget for our show? Smaller than it was. Yeah, not, not big enough. What could possibly go wrong? Ivanka. Uh, well, safety first with Paul driving the Clarkson. You got full gear on, you're buckled in, and you got a banana for potassium. What's your secret weapon, Paul? My helmet, aerodynamic, an all-natural Canadian organic beef right here, baby. John Scott, I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm giving you a taste of your own medicine. You're done. You're done. Uh, okay. Well, those are strong words coming from Paul. Back to you, Ken. Wow. He just gave the Phil Esposito. Paul Bissonette is out for business. Biz nasty. When the light turns green, you go. Let's listen in for the start of this race. The intensity of Paul Bissonette. You can feel it. Green go. Two laps, total time, time trials. Oh, yeah, Kenny boy. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> Biz, that was a great start. What's going through your mind right now going into turn number one? Just nice tight turns, baby. That's how I practiced. Oh, yeah, here it comes. I know there's a tight one coming up here on the right. I studied this course all night, buddy. I can do it with my eyes closed. Look. That's smooth. Whoa. Yeah, a little off track. Now, Biz, during your career, you, you made light of yourself as being a grocery stick, somebody who spent a lot of time sitting on the bench. You're sitting in the driver's seat right now. How is your experience as a grocery stick in the NHL going to help you today as a driver? And the fact that I'm doing oh. once right now is pretty crazy. And I forgot about that speed bump, but I went out of full four, baby. <laughs> yeah. Biz, you are absolutely flying out there. As he goes out of screen, across another bomb. Let's go! Come on, baby! That's, a, that's my ice surf for surfers and machine. However you say that word. Biz, do you think the hockey sticks in the back are affecting uh, the aerodynamics of your uh, ice rod? Kenny, I gotta take this turn, not gonna answer your question. Okay, bud. Oh, lovely. Oh, 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 oh. Here comes the straightaway. Ow! Yes. Hey, Biz. How are you, bud? No hands, baby. No oh, oh, oh. Look out for Lake Ontario. Oh, jeez. I have to keep my hands on the wheel. Oh, that looks good. Final turn and across the finish line. Paul Bissonnette will complete lap number one. One final turn. His first lap is going to come in. That's how we go. At around one minute, 48 seconds. Remember, two laps, total time, time trial. John Scott's going to get a chance to best you, Paul Bissonnette, so you better bring it this final lap, bud. I'm working on my breathing right now. I'm just staying in the moment, Ken. Oh, here comes my turn. Take it wild. Oh, I'm standing smooth. Oh, watch that tree. Oh, oh I'm on the grass. Dodge your bullet there, Kenny boy. That was here smooth. Comes, here comes the speed bump. Watch that bump. Last time. Watch that bump. Thank you, sir. Oh, very nice, very nice. Gentlemen, Lee, slow down. Teamwork, teamwork. Oh, no way John Scott's beating this. I might give the cameraman a high five. Oh, dodge. We missed him. Oh, this, yeah. you're in time. Uh, yeah. 
Vidge, you're at two minutes and 42 seconds uh, right now. That is the amount of ice time John Scott got during the 2012 season, if you recall. I didn't hear a word you said, Ken, but it's all good, baby. <laughs> Woo! Vidge, you're kicking it. Here it comes. It's going to get tough, bud. <laughs> that was your best hairpin of the two. Perfectly executed turn. There I am. I'm going to keep my hands on the wheel this You going to try the no hands again? I almost lost control. Paul Bissonette, we're not going to give you your time as you cross the finish line because we have to keep the suspense. But look at Biz Nasty getting his neck down low. Aerodynamics, what a professional driver. Paul Bissonette and across the line. Wow. That was some professional racing from Biz Nasty, Paul Bissonette, the helmet head to help as he gets out of his ice rod and he's gonna check in with our Ivanka Osmak in yeah. just yeah. a few seconds. Ivanka. Just getting Paul now as he's uh, gotten off the ice tree surface, thrown away the banana, doesn't need it apparently, but uh, Paul in that second lap, things really went off track. I heard a lot of, oh boys, and you know, groaning. What happened to you? Just mental games. John Scott thinks things went poorly, but they didn't. Nice and smooth. I took a nice tight turn over there. Got a little bit of grass, but I kept things nice on track. Oh, so it was all part of the plan. You know it. Okay, okay. Now, usually hockey players, they give a full 60, 110%. How do you think you did today? I, I trained for this for weeks. I gave it a full couple weeks, not just however long it took me on the track. I was buzzing out there. You guys saw it. I'm just I'm doing my thing out here. All right, well, the results will show whether or not you were doing your thing and how well. Paul, thank you very much. Back to you, Ken. Thank you. I've got to say, as an observer of sport, that was absolutely beautiful to watch. Paul Bissonnette, you are a true athlete. You know, some people don't realize that if you have Amazon Prime for shopping, you already have access to Prime Video. It's all bundled together, so while you're placing an overnight order for a blender, bed sheets, canoe, ice rod, hockey stick, flat jacket, whatever, you can be watching something as well. You can be watching some of the best TV shows and movies around, like The Grand Tour on Prime Video. I need you to believe that. Only on Prime Video. Start your free trial now. Now let's get ready for the second run from one outstanding athlete to another outstanding athlete. Paul Bissonnette, man, he put on display. John Scott, he is going to have to follow up. Going to be a tough act to follow here after Paul Bissonnette tore around this track here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Ivanka? Thank you very much, Ken. Yes, here with John, about to go. You've got uh, big shoes to follow, tough speed to follow up. Paul came off the ice resurface are very angry and angry at you. What do you have to say back to him before you head out? Uh, you know, the only thing nasty about Paul is his breath. Um, he's just a terrible person and he's not very nice. I'm going to have a gentlemanly race. I'm here to have fun and I will win. There you go. Yeah. That's a simple strategy, but one that might actually work. Ken. It's the most dangerous track in the world. And John Scott is about to take it on. Two laps, total time. John Scott, when you see the green, hit the gas and go. Let's listen in to the thrilling start. Hey, Kenny. Hey, John, you're out of the blocks. You're out. Oh, look at the exhaust coming out of that thing. You have it matted. What's going on, John? Let's just, I heard all the terrible things you were saying about me. Let's just get this out of the way. Yeah, okay. I don't appreciate it, Kenny. I really don't. I may have said that you played a combined two minutes and 38 right. seconds during the 2011 Moving season. On. I apologize for that. Here. We slow down here. Taking it wide. Gonna yeah. cut it tight. Well, you don't, you don't want to totally stop, though. I know, I'm not. We're going. Yes, turn. Okay. Well, that's finesse. That's finesse. I know. That's We're what going. I expect of the 2016 All-Star Game MVP. I'm not here to lose. Paul slowed down these bumps on now me. Hairpin, gas out, gas out. Oh, that's lovely. We're gone, man. We're gone. We're gone. So how are you? Are you having a good day, Ken? Yeah, I'm having a good day, John. Is it? I, 
Do you find it's ironic that we're here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and you just showed up today looking like the ultimate Canadian with that outfit I, you have on? This is like my normal Saturday morning wear. I go out, chop some wood, make a fire, and go hunting. This is what I do. Wow. Well, so it you, worked out perfect. You look good. Lap one in the books for John Scott. Um, what experience do you have racing ice rods, John? You know, my ice resurface experience goes back to when I was a young child. My dad got me on it when I was really young because I think he knew this day was coming. And it's paid off. Listen, I worked my tail off of here. Okay, hold on. Coming in too hot. That's okay. We're going to roll it. We're going to roll We're off course. It's going to be fun here. We're off course. We're going heavy. Oh, boy. Well, that's how it's done. Paul doesn't have the type of skills that I have. Not as aggressive as the front. Oh, okay, 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 we're good. Keep her between the lines, kid. I know, never. Okay, my hat's falling out. Watch out, cameraman. Hold on, here we go. We're going hot. Oh! <laughs> John, I gotta tell you, with that hat and the ear flaps flowing back in the wind, you kind of look like Guy Lafleur and his hair back in the old days. Are you jealous? Yeah, Are you I jealous? am. You look awesome. I'm jealous, too. I wish I was Guy Lafleur. Okay, we're coming in hot. Hairpin. Okay, we're good. Oh, this is exhilarating. I'm telling you what, these things move. John Scott, into the second last turn. Get cocky and wave to me, John. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Good eye contact. Okay. Kenny, I think we're doing well. I think you're doing good, buddy. John Scott, final turn. And across the line, John Scott, outstanding performance. On his ice rod, and man, did oh he slam goodness. the brakes on at the end. We are, uh, holy moly, we're smoking. Okay, John, you just put it in reverse. You're just getting cocky. Well, I'm going to do a lap reverse just to show I can beat Paul in reverse as well. Is Don't, that okay? Did you, you uh, didn't run over Ivanka, did you? No, I hope not. I hope not, too. I really oh, like Ivanka. She's a good friend of mine. Good. Gosh, John. Ivanka, Come over take it here. Away. Can you smell that rubber? Yeah, you were burning. You were burning it a lot, John. I'm not gonna lie. You looked really crazy out there. Uh, your the flaps were were going up. Oh, already scorning you. Um, uh, I can smell the burning tire, and you were going over those speed bumps so fast. I can't imagine that your bottom is feeling too good right now. You know, there's a difference between me and Paul. Some people take life by the horns and really go for it, and other people kind of slow down and stop when you go over a little bump. And I think we know who I was and who Paul was. So. That's kind of your approach to life, is yeah. just, just go her. hard. Just go. Just give her. Yeah. Just give her. Paul, um, Paul's approach is, man, we'll give her. Now, um, I had noticed at the beginning, before John got going, perhaps he was over the line. Was there, um, did he get a false start? I asked the cameraman to get a shot of it, and I think we're going to have a, a default to start that one, big boy. So uh, we'll have to go to, the, go to the tapes. Replay. Well, we are going to announce the winner. But, Paul, before we announce, how are you feeling <laughs> about your performance after watching... Well, after John kind of looked like he beat you. Does this say it all or what? I don't know Let's what get... that pose is. I don't think you've done a winner's pose before. Okay, <laughs> we have a number. We have okay. the winner. Here's the winning number. It's coming through in my ear right now. Three minutes and nine seconds is the winner. One of you won. Okay. One of you. And that's John. Hands down, John, by 20 seconds. 20 seconds, the winner. 20 to 0. That's a good game for you, 20 seconds. John, what do you have to say about winning this trophy? What does it mean to you? It means a lot. Well, it's it was an easy win, honestly, but it's it's fun to always win a, win a championship. It's it's the first inaugural cup, and I'm really happy to be here. Look, at he's checking his machine. There's always an excuse with Biz Nasty. Always an excuse. Yeah, he's leaking fluid. Machine? No, that's your that's your panties. Look at this. His underwear is <laughs> leaking. Congratulations, congratulations. Now that that is all settled, John, the winner, Paul, the loser. It's time to focus on well on what's important, guys. And in the Grand Tour, that's making sure the hosts know who's a winner and who's a loser. In Canada, that means someone's getting a face full. Come on out. Look at that! Whoa! <laughs> No! Can! No! <laughs> is that a can full of maple syrup? Oh, oh, yeah, it is, because Paul's going to eat it. He's licking it up. 
Wow, that's almost as disturbing as his driving. Oh, well, there's just no sportsmanship. All this and that. Wow. The winner, John Scott. Well, I mean, you really can't see stuff like this anywhere else well other than the Grand Tour Season 3 finale only on Prime Video April 12th. And trust me, it only gets more ridiculous from here. That was a lot of fun. We'll be right back. Oh, Jesus. I'm shaking all over. Oh, I think I might be sick. Oh, no. Oh! Ah. <laughs> I bet my car looks elegant going through this scenery. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do. Scary. I just know it's not going to work. Oh, you look cold. <laughs> Hammond's lap's going well. Yeah, isn't it? I've raced against a few dicks in my time, but never on one. <laughs> Shit! Whoa! Oh, he's gone over the edge! Again. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, my giddy up! <laughs> Ow! Watson! What is the budget for our show? Smaller than it was. Yeah, not, not big enough. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning into our little dose of madness. Thanks to Ivanka, Prime Video, and the Grand Tour teams for bringing what was clearly the most Canadian race ever run. Tensions ran high here today, but I think we managed to smooth it all out in the end. And if you stuck with us for this long, then you've made winners out of all of us. Now, April 12th, watch the Grand Tour only on Prime Video.